Colorado tap water. I'm not convinced this is totally sanitary, but what do I know? How do these birdwashing contests even work? Who's checking the sightings? Stop. Nobody ch- Fuck you, Ryan People Lucan. The birder Enjoy your birder, birder of the year title while it lasts. Ooh, shit. Ryan's got a rival. I'm sorry. Time for your bath. I was so close. I just needed one more red-tailed hawk. Steph and Ryan, the newest inductees. Gabe would be proud. <sighs> Love you, Gabe. What the hell am I gonna do with a jacket that says Hell Divers on the back? Jeez, I don't know, boss man. Maybe you could wear it, like the rest of us are gonna do. You think I want to broadcast my affiliation with you jokers to the rest of the world? I got a reputation. Not to be a single issue voter or anything, but fuck Typhon. be a long night tonight. Always is. Same thing every year. Tonight's the spring festival. I wonder what's wrong. It's gonna be a long night tonight. Always is. Same thing every year. Hey, Ducky. Is everything okay? Of course. I've never felt better. Okay, poor Ducky. I wonder what's going on. It's gonna be a long night tonight. Always is. Same thing every year. Jed acts like he's in charge, but we all know who really calls the shots in here. Ducky almost hustled me out of my first paycheck. Good thing Jed stepped in. Poor Amelia. So, I started Dust in Daylight while you were at work. You're kidding. I already got to Verdant Cliffs. Wait. Holy shit, seriously? Yeah, I'm kind of addicted. It's a good Charlotte game. must be getting ready for the LARP. Hey, getting ready for the big LARP? Oh, hey. Yeah. Trying. I hope we can get Ethan into it. Is everything okay? Yeah. Don't worry. I'm sure he'll like it. I'll be right with you. I better check in with Steph and Ryan. Oh 
If she's hiding something, I need to find out what it is. For Gabe. If I can get help on my own, Riley never needs to know about my condition. I won't have to be a burden. It breaks my heart that she's coping with this alone. Hey, Eleanor. How are you? I'm doing okay. Thank you, dear. I really appreciate your help from a couple weeks ago. It means a lot to me. Of course. I'm glad I could help. If I can get help on my own, Riley never needs to know about my condition. I won't have to be a burden. Where are you, girl from Rome? Gosh, I really miss that song. They used to play it in here all the time. Weird, I've never heard it. Maybe Jed knows where it went? I can't go on a run. Everyone will see how awkward and out of shape I am. Forget it. Been there before. Maybe I can encourage her. Hey, can I ask you something? I've always felt too self-conscious to try running. You seem like a pro. Any tips? Oh. Well, definitely don't let that stop you. Just push through it, you know? I'll try that. Thanks. Trust me. You're not alone. I think our chat actually helped. Did you trade out the quarters in the register yet? All you, kid. Hey, where do we keep unused jukebox CDs? We don't. Everything we have is in the jukebox. Cool. Just curious. Hey, do you guys know a song that goes... Where are you, girl from Rome? Holy shit, blast from the past, Alabaster Daydreams. My dad used to love that song. Gabe would put it on repeat just to mess with him. Got to the point where he couldn't stand to even hear it anymore. So, what happened to it? Oh, eventually Jed pulled it out of the jukebox and stashed it somewhere. You could ask him. Sweet. Thanks. Hey, boss. Do the words alabaster daydreams mean anything to you? Oh, hell. Like brother, like sister, huh? Fine. Guess it's been long enough. It's back behind the bar someplace. Thanks. Fuck you, Ryan Lucan. Enjoy your Birder of the Year title while it lasts. All right, let's hear this infamous song. Alabaster 
your daydreams. That's it. How the hell? Don't worry about it. If I can get help on my own, Riley never needs to know about my condition. I won't have to be a burden. The Spring Festival is nigh. Nigh, I say. Same thing every year. Okay, she's here. What's the plan? Well, we have two plans, actually. But we're still workshopping them. What does workshopping mean, exactly? It means Ryan won't admit that my plan is perfect. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. I asked Diane out on a date. Wait, what? And she's so into it. She doesn't notice one Ryan Lucan swiping her laptop. Ryan carries said laptop upstairs, acquiring damning evidence. Maybe Diane and I still hook up. Not important. <laughs> That's your plan? Oh my God, please tell me you have something better. I do. Now, to be clear, it's the same plan. Except, I'm the distraction. Look, Steph, I don't even think she's gay, all right? She's probably into the rugged mountain man type. All the transplants are. Okay, maybe these plans do need some more time. What? It's a simple plan, literally two steps. You just need to choose the hotter distraction. <laughs> okay, I'm not doing that. You're the only tiebreaker we have. Let's go with Steph. Badass DJ? It's a no-brainer. Sorry, Ryan. Fuck yes. In your face. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Look, I appreciate the... the effort. But we don't even know if she has anything worth stealing yet. I'm just gonna try talking to her. Maybe I can get her worked up and read her emotions. I'll let you know if I need that distraction. Good luck. Your usual. Thanks, Alex. What's the best way to rile her up? You know all I want is justice for my brother. Please. Help me. Alex, I can assure you that Typhon is committed to a full and open investigation. 
we want to find those responsible and hold them accountable just as much as you do. That's the truth. She's got a great poker face, unlike Mac, but let's see what she's really feeling. Let me try and read her first. I should try reading Diane's emotions before we go any further. Poor Gabe. No one deserves to die like that. She's sad. If I keep her thinking about Gabe's death, maybe I can find out more. I bet you and Gabe threw back a lot of these together. He was a great bartender. Made the long work days more bearable. That's a nice cross. Oh, thanks. Oh, <laughs> such a cute photo. My niece and nephew. They're adorable. Diane seems really put together, but inside, she's just as much a mess as the rest of us. A month later, and I can still feel the void he left behind. William Bloom. Gabe loved him. I think he spent a whole year just listening to him. <laughs> really? He had good taste. Surprised we never talked about it. Do you have, um, enough napkins for the table? Uh, yeah. I'm fine, thanks. Are you joining in the LARP later? It's been so hard for Ethan. We're all hoping it will cheer him up. I can't. Good luck, though. I'm sure he'll appreciate it. Okay. Now I need to pick something that will push Diane's emotions over the edge. Look, I know you're not a bad person. But my brother is dead because of the choices you and Typhon made. How does that make you feel? I actually want to know. Alex, I... We... Typhon is doing everything we can to address the situation. That's the truth. Okay? emotion I was looking for. Time to explore Diane's guilt about Gabe. Time to find out what Diane is really hiding. Hello? Miss Jacobs? It's Deputy Pike. Pike, I'm sorry, but we're very busy at the moment. There's been an accident. What kind of accident? He came here looking for a better life. Just like me. He's gone. I'm still here. Wait. There's something else. I 
can't undo what Typhon did, or the role I played, but at least I have everything I need to protect myself from them. Holy shit. She must have evidence on the USB stick. Oh, looks like I'll need a distraction after all. deal. I'm sorry? Are you single? Semi-single? Taken, but still down to get drunk and make out? Whoa. <laughs> Was not expecting that at all. Um... Am I blushing? I feel like I'm blushing. Yeah, I could see your cheeks from space. <laughs> Super. Real good luck for me. I'm so flattered. I don't even know what to say. Hey, no, no sweat. Just think about it. Get back to me. I'm not going anywhere. See ya. chance that you awoke something in Diane. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> you guys, oh, that was hilarious. Oh my god. I hope this was worth it. Password protected. Guess I'm not surprised. I'll bring this to Riley, see if she's willing to help. She's a whiz at computer stuff. In the meantime, we have a LARP to do. Grab your hat and meet me at the park. And don't forget your guitar, okay? One question. When the LARP's over, can I keep the hat? I'd say that all depends on how you do. Damn, gauntlet thrown. <laughs> so, did you finish the thing? Yeah, barely. It took me all night. I haven't carved like that in ages. All right, I need to grab my guitar and the hat that Steph got me. Sometimes it's hard to say where Gabe ends and I begin. His job, his apartment, his life here. If there is a scene somewhere, 
I see it most in Steph and Ryan. In my mind, when we're all together, I can imagine him in my place, and I can watch the scene unfold like a spectator for a life I barely knew. Or, if I choose instead, I can forget about Gabe and just accept, however improbably, that Steph and Ryan care about me for my own sake, for no other reason. I think I know which one Gabe would prefer. Ducky's gift to me for finding his booze. It's, um, it's a unique expression of gratitude. I found some really cute photos of Gabe and Ethan on this thing. I know this is Ethan's copy, but I'm level 73 and I'm not stopping. I haven't beat Steph a single time. That just means I'm overdue for a win, right? I haven't beat Steph a single time. That just means I'm overdue for a win, right? Steph bought this for me as a gag, but I kind of developed a taste for it. I don't even know if I'm doing this right, but it felt like I had to do something. Life in Haven would be a lot worse without these two weirdos. A housewarming gift from Eleanor. She said Gabe loved these little dudes. No sunglasses, though. We're one step closer now. Steph, I will murder you. Wish I'd taken Steph's advice. Ugh. Wow, Steph is a rock star for putting this together. Ethan is gonna flip.
A dire rat joined your party. I didn't even know what to say when Charlotte gave this to me. How do you even respond to such a perfect gift? I'm really glad my advice helped. Leave it to me to wreck Gabe's bike on my first ride. At least Ryan had a good laugh about it. One day, I'll stop being a freeloader. For now, I'm just grateful. I still haven't gotten you open yet. Must be a key around here somewhere. There it is. Yeah, I don't need to know what that was for. I think I know where you go. Half person, half dump truck. I feel you. Another one of Gabe's hidden cans. Dork. Oh shit. The feather on the hat must have fallen off. Maybe I can find it. Gabe's last effects from the coroner. Pike dropped it off a few days ago. Guess I've been avoiding looking through it. Okay. You can take the kid out of juvie. Oh. One match left. I don't know why, but this must have been really special to Gabe. Never know when you'll need a light. I'm not giving up yet, Gabe. I better find that feather. Steph is a stickler for details. Ducky's gift to me for finding his booze. It's, um, it's a unique expression of gratitude. Okay, just need to grab my guitar now. This must have been Gabe's.
That's a long list. And I bet he would have gotten through it. Wow, Gabe. Still finding ways to break my heart, huh? Yikes. This garden is looking gnarly. I haven't played for anyone else in years. That was a good night. I wonder how many times Gabe got stoned up here and stared at these. Guessing it was more than zero. So far, Ryan is the only one that uses this. Maybe I should just gift it to him. Ugh, you need a lot of help, don't you? Look, man, if you want to live here, you need to do your own dishes. Alex the Bard, ready to serve. Time to head out. 